Hi guys and welcome to another DIY. Today we are doing the Dead To Me series on Netflix and we're going to be doing some crafts and DIYs for it. So you might already be able to spot some things. I've got my Judy badge on. Has anyone noticed the little birdies in the background? <laughs> and then the coolest thing because what is Dead To Me without some wine? is a wine glass. So guys, if you haven't already checked out Dead to Me on Netflix, it is now on series two. So go and check that out. Some thrills, some drama. It's very, very awesome. So go and check it out on Netflix if you haven't already. Also guys, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button below. So guys, let's get started. So the things you'll need for your Dead to Me wine glass are a wine glass, a paintbrush, some red glitter, some PVA glue, and we also have some red vinyl or sticky back plastic, but you can also buy just the normal letters, the glitter letters from uh, the pound shop or any craft shop, and some transfer paper just to make it easier to stick on, but you don't really need it. So we are gonna cut out our letters and we have a cry cut machine. So all that we're gonna do is put the Dead To Me logo onto our program, get our vinyl, stick it on, and then print it out. Of course, like we said, if you guys don't own one of these machines, then you can just use alphabet stickers, or if you have a sticker machine, you can just print it out from there. So we're gonna peel it off. We're then gonna use our transfer paper, stick that down and make sure it's really stuck on there. And then we're gonna transfer it over to our wine glass. I've pressed it on, peeled it off, and then voila, it is on there. Next, we're gonna make the bottom really, really glittery, and this is so, so easy to do. All you need is some PVA glue, a paintbrush, and some glitter. You don't have to use red glitter, but thought it went with the theme quite well. So all we're gonna do is brush it all over, and then we're gonna sprinkle the glitter all over the top. Have something underneath to catch it so that you're able to put it back into your jar or your pot really easily. Shake off the excess glitter because there is a lot of it. And then go and enjoy some wine with the Dead To Me series. So next we're going to be making Judy's work badge from her retirement home workplace, as you can see here in the photo. So I could not for the life of me find something that resembled this picture online, so I thought, hey, why not draw it? <laughs> so on Microsoft Word, they have a drawing tool that you can find at the top. So all you need to do is draw the image onto the Word document. It's quite a simple image, just two little circles really. And then for the font, I have used Adobe Garamond Pro, which I will put in the description box and here on the screen. I thought it looked most like her badge, so decided to go with that font. Then we're gonna put a gray box around the outside and make the line around the outside even darker gray. And then we're gonna print it out on the computer. Once it's printed, we're gonna cut around it with some scissors. and then get a laminating sheet because we're gonna laminate it. We're then gonna put it through the laminator and just make it look a bit neater with some scissors, just neaten it up a little bit. And then we're gonna get a safety pin. So I have got a glue gun here. You can use other materials like some sticky tape or some super glue, but the glue gun was on hand and it's really quick and easy to use. So all we're gonna do is put a blob on there put the safety pin on and let it dry. And then you are done. Judy's work pin is created. And 
And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna be making these paper dove buntings that are in the background of series one. So this is everything you're gonna to need to be making your paper dove buntings. We're gonna need some colored paper, a glue gun, or you can just use regular glue or super glue, or even some sticky tape. And we're gonna need some string. So I found this dove template on eastertemplate.com. It's a really simple outline, and as you can see from the photo, it really does resemble it. The only thing that is a little bit different is the tail, but what we're gonna do afterwards is we're just gonna round this off so there's nothing to worry about there. I've put two on a page because they seem about that size, and then I've printed them out. Then when I've printed all the colored paper, we're just gonna cut it out with some scissors. Then I've put them all in a clump because what we need to do is just round off the tails. And then what we need to do is make sure that the writing, or if you have any like edges still printed on there, they're facing towards you so that when you put the bunting up, it's facing the right way and doesn't have any of this on there. So what I'm gonna do is just place the string over the top. I've put it a little bit higher, not in the middle, just so that the doves hang the right way. And then I've super glued all the string down. And then here are the doves created. So guys, I hope this gave you loads of ideas for your dead to me crafts. If it did, don't forget to like, comment, and you can also subscribe down below to become a starler. See you in my next video, guys. Bye.